All fights tonight are sanctioned by WRSA. Now the stage is set. Thousands of hours of training culminate in this very moment. To everybody present in the arena, I need to know who's ready for action! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in our first contest of the evening, allow me to introduce, first of all, to the red corner, Pedro Franco. <laughs> So here we are, first fight of the evening, the TMA Super Saturday Fight Gala, hosted by the TMA Fight Series at the Best Cut Stadium in Warsaw. I'm Neil Kelly, I'm here with my co-commentator, Marco Gambino. Marco, good card of kickboxing we're looking for tonight. I am excited for tonight, and I've been excited for a while for this one. Here we're starting off today, we've got Jericho and Pedro Franco on their debut, full contact kickboxing. There we go, we've had Pedro coming out fast here. Long yeah. foot on pressure. Jericho was Whoa! Out. Little bit of inexperience there. Yeah. Turning away. And he's adding on the pressure there. We'll see if he takes a break. Jericho looks very heavy handed, doesn't he? Yeah, very heavy shots there and some great some great threading in the kicks. The inexperience of Pedro there, he turned away, got caught with a heavy shot as he turned. Now I'd like to see Pedro try and come back and get some distance here. He saw that Jericho was able to apply shots. And, and nice right pressure. hook there from Pedro. Lovely work. It, it's so interesting when you get two debut tees 
obviously, or debutants, should I say. You never really know what they're going to do until they get in there. It doesn't matter what they've been doing in the gym. All game plans can go out the window, can't they? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it's always great to see on a debut technical accuracy like that there. Jericho seems to have a, a, a great handle of his foot sweeps, his teeps, and angling away. I think just incurring a warning there from uh, referee Harvey Harra. A little bit high on the sweep, and I think it was assisted with the hand as well. It's got to be foot to foot. Some lovely jab work from there, working the combinations on Jericho's side. That initial 30 seconds out of the way, the pace has settled down a little bit now. now now's where you're really going to see the skill factor from both fighters. That's it. Well, like you said, we're in on the debut. You never know how much energy you're going to use at the beginning. You're excited, adrenaline's flowing, and you're throwing the shots, but now we'll start to see whose energy tank is there and who's able to kind of push through that beginning day, first day pressure. Jericho looks very strong, but can he maintain that? Pedro Beautiful. waiting for his opportunity to strike on the counter. Beautiful shots there. And clean, clean punches from Jericho on this side. Yeah, Pedro, Pedro just looks like he's caught in the storm at the minute, doesn't he? A little bit shell-shocked from that first 30 second onslaught. Again, nice right hand there from Jericho. Well, Pedro finishes around strong. Jericho has some really nice movement, some really nice shots, and, and choice of shot selection. And it seems to be that maybe on um, maybe on Pedro's side, if he's able to strike while he's moving, and not as he resets, he might be able to find a bit more success. There are some there are some opportunities where Pedro has been able to kind of make his way through the guard but that seems to be while well, Jericho's in between combinations or he's made a move out to the outside and maybe paused just a little bit. Would you worry that Jericho's just loading up a little bit, a little bit too much in that first round? Every shot seemed to be with bad intent. That takes its toll on a debut fighter, doesn't it? 100%, 100%, I agree. I, 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 if I was his corner, maybe I'd like to see a few more shots thrown at 70%, a few more feints and then sort of lead into setting up with those Yeah, the shots. setup shots were missing in that first round. Let's see if he makes the adjustment here in a second. So what have you said to Pedro if you're in Pedro's corner? Well, obviously, Pedro knows what to expect now. He's, he's kind of like got a taster of Jericho's power and his presence. He looks a little bit more composed now. I think he was a little bit of a rabbit in the headlights in that first, first minute of the first round. Yeah. He looks a little bit more composed here now, doesn't he? Utilising a bit more distance there, isn't he? Not charging in as much. The one thing I worry about for Pedro is he's either on the offence or the defence. There's not a lot of counter work going on in between. So that becomes easy to read. Yeah, yeah. And it's opening up for Jericho, who keeps his hands moving quite a lot. So like I said about the choice, that the shot selection, he's got a great rhythm with his, with his boxing. And that does open up for those heavy kicks. Yeah, but you see, by the time Pedro's firing back, Jericho's back into a tight guard. I think Pedro needs to find the shots in between Jericho's work. Yeah, yeah. You know, look for that counter, use that power against him. It's a little bit better from Pedro there, measuring with the jab, just shy of the right hook range. I think Pedro should just try to use that from kick, like how Jericho is. He's using it to interrupt his flow a bit more, and then he can start working with his hands again. But you see, Pedro likes to wing around that roundhouse a bit. Real tough fight for your first fight in the ring, though, isn't it? Yeah, great fight for the first Good work fight. there from Pedro to the body. Maybe that's a good strategy for bringing Jericho's hands down. Both two strong competitors for their first fights. So I'm, I'm happy with this. This is a good fight. Have to say, this is a better round for Pedro, though. Much better. I think, like you said at the beginning, he's, he's come out a bit more calm, a bit more measured, and I think he's using that, that opportunity to catch a breath a bit more. That, that's why, and we saw that front kick. If you can use that to get a bit more distance. And I don't know, Marco, but as Jericho's pace slowed down, I think I think that pace, that initial fast sprint pace for him, yeah. has taken its toll. Yeah, I think breathing it has. a little bit heavier and, and the work rate stopped a little bit more in that second round. The flurries aren't happening as as fluidly as they were very earlier on. But yeah, like we were saying, I think maybe a few more a few more relaxed bursts to then open up for those heavier shots may pay in favour a bit more. And I think, but I agree. I think Pedro has definitely did much better in that round there. This could come down to uh, a battle of attrition and, and who's got the fitness, who's done the work in the gym. 
You know, Pedro looks looks quite composed in the corner. He's got his breathing under control, listening to instructions from his coaches, Steve and uh, Annie Humphreys. First up the school. school. Let's see what this third round brings. Yeah. Here we go, boys. Last round. Jericho opening up with that front kick again. Yeah, Jethro working in, uh, Jericho, should I say, working in single shots. Lovely that was nice, that was nice. There. I think that's hurt him a little bit. He's covering up, trying to make his way back. Ooh, with his elbows spinning back fist attempt. I think that'll uh, get Harvey's attention. No spinning back fist in amateur kickboxing rules. Was that, was that a point deduction? Yeah, 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 point deduction, which evens it out for the eight count. That, that could mean it's all to play for in this third round. Yeah, I yeah. had Jericho edge in the first two rounds, but with that point deduction, it means on the cards, it's all about this last two minutes. And I think Pedro senses that. Yeah, Good see. head kick there from Pedro. Good body work there Great from Jericho, but leaving himself open at the same time if Pad Pedro can find that shot in between. It's a singular head kick each time when he throws it. Yeah, I think that shifting gear for Pedro, that up in pace, taking its toll as well now. Yeah. But I think his work rate right, is... He's uh, to dig deep, isn't it? Yeah, he's, he's, he's squeezing it out here, isn't it? Yeah, he doesn't want to go into any negative defence now, though. Great evasion there from Jericho. He's got a good right hook, Pedro. He does, he does. I'd like to see him filter it in with combos a bit more. He seems so when he throws the right hook, he doubles it up again. I think if he opened up and threw maybe yeah. an extra shot in there. That body kick hurts him. Ah, it's, been, it's been hurting him. And I think this negative position with his back against the ropes is probably going to sway the judges to go the opposite way in this last round. Yeah, yeah, the dominating, like, the centre pressure has been from Jericho for the majority. And yeah, great He's fight the body kick. Great fight from these two, but the, yeah, the body kick did show. It showed it it, it, it it took its toll there. So we'll see how much um, that one point deduction for the um, for the spinning back fist, we'll see how much relevance that's got on the cards. But for me, I think he was just, just doing enough, just in front to get his uh, hand raised here. Yeah, I think for me, the, the pressure and volume uh, came from Jericho's side. The, there were some good moments of Pedro fighting back, trying to, to take back a bit more of the um, of the control of the fight. But I think in relationship to the two, the two of them fighting against each other, I think Jericho had more of a commanding presence. But they can both be proud debuts for both fighters. Fantastic work from both sides, yeah. Let me get those fighters to the center of the ring, please. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of non-stop action, we can sort the judges' cards. I can tell you it's a unanimous decision. To the blue corner, Jericho, Yeah, a worthy winner there. Congratulations, Jericho but, and Pedro. But Pedro, Pedro's got a skill set, he can come again. Definitely, definitely. I would like to see you. I would like to see both of these guys on the show again in future. I've got I've got faith that we'll be able to see Pedro come back, take take, take everything that he's learned from this fight and put it into play next time when we see him.